Hello YouTube people, today I'm going to show you one of the most beautiful watches that I ever had. It is called Parnis 389A, at least on AliExpress. Wonderful watch, amazing watch. But like all things in life, it does have some negative points. We're going to talk about those, we're going to talk about positive points. i also going to compare this watch to, to some other watches. And I'll also show you how it looks like on some strap options. Uh, 50 meters water resistance, screw down crown and screw down case back. Sapphire crystal and Cyclop is also sapphire. I have tested it myself. Lock to lock distance 43.5 millimeters. Thickness 11.8 millimeters. And one very important measurement is the diameter of this watch is 36 millimeters. And to be honest with you, the size of the watch is the main reason why I bought this watch. Uh, at first I bought Cadison at 38.5 millimeters. Also, it's considered to be on the small side of things, uh, no matter how ridiculous that sounds, but that's how it is nowadays where 38 millimeter watch is considered to be small <laughs> quite ridiculous to be honest you, you look at it on the hand and it 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 looks something special something it's you have to try it to understand it gives that feeling a little bit like uh, some kind of jewelry even though i don't wear jewelry but i do get that point i do get that feeling with this watch which is wonderful this watch is just amazing well amazing it is but still has negative points so let's talk about them very quickly they are not really that bad but first negative point is that i did a mistake buying this watch i didn't didn't do my homework very well so i just bought it off aliexpress without choosing too many options and there was actually an option to buy one with miyota movement and I bought it with default no-name Chinese movement and the problem with this movement is that the rotor of this movement is rather loud uh, on Miyota movements rotor is also annoyingly loud some, sometimes but on this one it's it's <laughs> it's ridiculous it's another level of Miyota movements it's so loud and that sound of the rotor is like I can clearly hear those dry bearings spinning inside and grinding and that like metal to metal noise and it just spins and spins and spins like it doesn't want to stop like a fidget spinner and it does feel cheap on the hand because of that you move your hand around and it always makes that metal on metal noise inside and the watch itself it kind of even wobbles when the rotor spins so that's not a pleasant experience, but that's, I'm gonna try to fix that later on, <laughs> okay. And another negative thing is the bracelet. The way it's connected, the first link with the second link, half of the link is fixed in place in such a weird way that it forms this edge. It looks strange. It doesn't move. That's it, it's fixed in place. Looks like a gap. While Cadison, for example, can move freely and it just sits on hand very, very nicely. So, it's a strange thing. Doesn't look terrible, though I wish the first links were loose because, well, I don't know. Looks kind of a bit off okay so the rotor is noisy um the bracelet first links look a little bit weird but from the distance it looks okay i mean i kind of got used to that it's still a wonderful bracelet feels wonderful on the hand can't really complain too much really and there is one more negative thing about this watch which is hard to notice but i know you watch people are going to notice that uh, there is a little bit of misalignment. This watch has little loom pips above the hour indexes. And those pips are not aligned very well with those indexes. 
that could be annoying to some people but like if you look at the watch normally you're not trying to find something you know something bad it's it's fine it's not really that noticeable and there is another thing which i would like to mention on cadison those inside walls are mirror finished they look incredible they look wonderful really those mirror finished side walls like that's just amazing i wish parnis had them as well because on parnis is just bare metal you know small small thing doesn't really matter but i so wish those side walls were mirror finished like edison okay and this is rotor how it sounds and it just spins and spins and spins it gets on my nerves i mean how hard can it be to fix just need some lubrication right <laughs> so that's what i tried to do i used this bike chain lubrication yeah yeah that's happening yeah a little drop of bike chain lube you know what it didn't help because the uh, the the bearings were too loose so I used this very fat grease. <laughs> so if any watchmakers are watching this, I apologize for having nightmares after this. <laughs> but you know what? It actually helped. You will see. Very fat grease. I rubbed it in very well into those bearings. So finished it all up. By the way, this is the most difficult part is to screw this screw back in. It's very finicky. So I don't know, I used what I had available. I also not using any gloves and this screw is also metal so it could be magnetized. I, you know, I just, whatever. I did my thing as usual. That's how it spins well lubricated. It still spins fairly well. Still makes some noise, but not nearly as loud as it used to be. And as you see, it still works perfectly fine with it. And this is on the left is Miyota movement in Cadison. And this is the right one. This is Paranis. And as you see, Miyota is keep spinning, keep spinning. And I just can't get Paranis to spin this crazy. And you know what? If I would be keeping Miyota movement, I would be lubricating it as well. Because that is just annoying. So yeah, job well done. And the first nice thing, very simple, which I would like to mention is that, for example, this Cadison also has Sapphire Crystal and Sapphire Cyclop. I have tested it myself. The problem is that this Cyclop on Cadison doesn't really magnify a lot. I mean, I don't really need magnification. I can see well small things, but I like how the Cyclop looks like, like a design element. And when I look at the date uh, and I see that Cyclops doesn't magnify anything, it's like, oh man, it's just, it looks cheap, kind of, it looks fake. And on Parnis, the Cyclops does magnify quite a lot, like you don't even need any more than that. So here's the comparison. So the Cyclops on Parnis does its job very well, looks nice. There is one thing that I like a, a lot about this no name. Chinese movement is the way how the date flips look when I flip it myself it's very quick very instant and the sound of that date clicking is very very loud very very audible I like that a lot and another thing is when the date starts engaging and how quickly it flips I mean it's look 8 p.m it's 9 p.m. It's 10 p.m. Nothing happening yet. 11 p.m. Nothing yet. Look, 11.30, nothing. And at about 11.45, it starts engaging. The date window starts slightly moving. And I'll pay attention how quickly the date flips. That That's just in instant. It's a shame. It's 10 minutes from till 12 p.m. But still the flipping action is so quick. And by the way, uh, setting, the uh, setting the time on this watch, it feels so 
so good it feels so stiff there is enough of res resistance the hands are not jumping around it feels very very robust it feels very good by the way let's let's do it again 9 p.m 10 p.m 11 p.m 11 45 it's <laughs> so quick that's wonderful i wish that would happen on 12 but still it still makes me happy and there was one thing which i was not sure about when choosing this watch uh, uh i was not sure about the silver dial of the watch i am not fan of silver dials but i never had a watch with silver dial so what can i say so i just bought this watch and you know what i really like the silver dial now it looks so good in person it's very difficult to show in pictures and videos because it's so shiny it's like half of the time it looks blown out completely white and you can't really see it well but in person it looks so rich that silver it has a slight sunburst effect as well i mean i'm really pleasantly surprised how the silver dial looks in real world in the person i'm very happy with this watch it looks very very elegant i also want to show you how this watch looks like on this leather single piece strap my wife says this watch looks the best on this one and it's also very comfortable as well and this is the classic black and gray striped pretty fat nylon strap also very comfy but kind of feels a little bit too thick for this little watch and just for fun for comparison this is that caddis and the blue face amazing wonderful watch one of the best looking dials this blue plays out so nicely in the light and this is the same caddison but black the review on this watch is coming up in the future it's a little bit different from the blue one we'll tell you in the review okay and into conclusions on my website thomaswatchreviews.com where i gonna place it in the tier list it's gonna be uh keepers technically it kind of should go to the god tier but because it's homage clomage watch it can never get to the god tier so keepers is the best i can do for this watch it's a very very strong keeper it's such a strong keeper that i actually gonna keep this watch doesn't happen often i usually buy watches to do a review and after review i sell the watch but this is one of those rare occasions where i just i'm not gonna sell it it's just it's too good it's too good it's at this size at 36 millimeters being this beautiful and durable as well for this price that they are going on aliexpress i mean it's ridiculous what you get yes it's not original you know but at the materials levels at durability and how good it actually looks and feels it's it's amazing it's wonderful watch i do highly recommend it but if you're not willing to grease <laughs> and lubricate the bearings of the rotor just go for miyota movement don't do the mistake i i did and just go for miyota movement so i'm very very happy with this watch so happy that they're gonna keep it so thank you for watching have a wonderful day goodbye